We will learn two beautiful pieces of Zer Shimshen, the Chavid, the great Yom Tif, the very happy Yom Tif of Sukkot and Shvin Hatzer Simchas Torah, which is Bo Leinu Leteiva, which is Man Simchaseinu, a time of Kevaldik Simcha. And when you hear the words of the Zer Shimshen, we will see a little bit of the Arvoida of what this Yom Tif is supposed to bring out in us, and it will give us also tremendous connection to Rabbi Nishalaylam and Avoid Hashem B'Simcha. So, and we'll also speak about a, a bit from the Indian of the Torah, giving bracha, because that's going to be from the Parshas, the Zaysa Bracha. So Rabbi Yisrael, let's begin. The Zer Shimshim talks about the Pasuk in Emor, and it's an Ois Yod Aleph. Zer Shimshim tells us the following, that the Pasuk talks about Yoy Marishon, that we take the Arba Minim in the first day, now, really the Pasa could have spoken about the 15th, because it goes usually according to the month. B'chamisha also l'chaydesh. Yet it does say, Davke b'yoyim ha-rishoyim, so Chazal tell us that rishoyim, with the whole arichos of a marshal, but it comes out that rishoyim l'chaydesh b'yoyim avaynois. It is the first of the new count of avaynois, of a new count, a new slate, that after we left Yom Kippur, we're all clean, and we have a clean slate, and we went out of the great washing machine of, of Yom Kippur, and we got all really, really ready to be connected to Kodesh Baruch Hu and be able to go into his holy abode, his sukkah, Tzil of Yom Nusa, and the Tzil Ashkina of Emuna. So, Baruch Hashem, this is starting a new Cheshbon. And that's where the Pasuk begins, and what do we take? We take an Esrog, which is pre Hodor, and we take... Alulif, Kapis Temarim, and we take Hadassim, which is Anafes Ovois, and we take the Arovois, Arve Nachal, who smacht them, Lifne Hashem, Lekechem, Shivas Yomim, and we are to be happy in front of Hashem, rejoicing for seven days. Rabbi Yisai says that there are Shimshin, you should know that when we take these Avaminim, we are also hinting on a lot of Yisaydois. And this is what he's going to talk about. He's, he's the Iker talking about now the Esrik, he's only, he does speak Barichos about the other ones, but we don't have time for all of them. We're going to mention this point. Dorshinon Derech Remez. We darshan by giving the way of hinting. Kol Avo Aminim Shabbat Lulav. The all of Aminim of Lulav, we're going to darshan Derech Remez. We're going to talk about the Esrik. Ulekaftem Lochem Bayoim Arishan Pri Eitz Hadar. Yermais, it is coming to hint. In the first day of the new cheshbon, of the new slate, what should a Jew do? Now he's beginning a new slate. He has to make sure that he should remain clean. He should not fall into, into the ra and the prisos, the dirt that he had before, the tuma of the averis, and he should only grow in the kedusha of the mitzvahs and grow up and up and up. That's what he should be doing. So he says like this, you're starting now, you should be complete and righteous in your actions, and even one moment, you should not turn to the bad way. Now obviously, if a person does fall, what he should do is he should quickly rise up and don't remain in a matter of, of being falling. Just now, get up and Start doing good things, sur meira, everything will be fine. And this is Zoyme says that's the first hint we have. How do we know that we're talking about an esrog? We know we're talking about an esrog because it says the word pre eight hador, and hador is like it would say the word hador who lives. Many say this remez, but the Sarah Shimshin one of the first to say this that this is like an esrik which lives in his tree from year to year, meaning even through the winter, a harsh winter, the matzavim that everyone else, other prayers are not able to withstand. He's able to withstand everything. That's the esrik of Darby, Lonoi, Mishana, Lashana. And that's the remez that we will be, we have to take ourselves, meaning ourselves, we have to take to the Rabbi to be just like this esrik. That the same as the esrog, no matter what 
the winds are blowing and, and the harsh winter, it still remains Dor Bi'ilonoi Mishana Lashana. We also have to be Dor Bi'ilonoi. We are connected to the Eitz Sachaim of HaKadosh Baruch Hu Ilana the Chayo, the, the, the tree of life and the Torah Kedosha. We have to do it Mishana Lashana. Remain connected. This way we can take the Yomim Neroyim and the beautiful cleanliness that we have from there and we can build and a beautiful new year from there. And he mentions another point. It shouldn't have any holes or any warts. It shouldn't have any like trisos, anything that is making it missing. Chaser. And all those are merames to the union of Sur Meira. But then since the Esrig is also connected the heart, so that's like the Medrash says that, and it's also taken in the left hand, which left is where the heart is by the person, on the left side. The Yitin Liboy is saying, Remez, you should give your whole heart to La Kodesh Baruch Hu. You should do Lokach then the Esrig Lochem, taking your whole Lochem, your heart, and giving it to La Kodesh Baruch Hu. Gemash HaKosov, Tenob B'ni Lib Chali. My son, please give me your heart. Now what does it mean, the heart? It means the Cheshik you have. It means that what you cleaving to, what you are aspiring to, that's what a heart is. And that is what you have to give to Kodesh Baruch Hu. And then he says one more point, which has to do with the pre Sadar, the year called Isko Yimach and all his business and all his thoughts should only be one thing, last is pre Hadar, to make a beautiful fruit. And what is the fruit of a person like we learned in the beginning of Pashas Noyach? Eile Toldois Noyach. And it talks about his children. And then it mentions Noyach being a tzaddik, Tomim, with a Reisa, going with as a Timis Halach Noyach, walking with the Rabbi Shloila. Says Rashi, what's the Pshat? But the two don't connect. We're talking about his children. And then we talk about his Maisim Toivim. And it says, yes, Iker told Isaiah, shall tzaddikim Maisim Toivim. They're Iker told Isaiah, Iker children. Even if, let's say, they don't have children, it will be their massive toivim, pui e tzadar. We are to make beautiful peyrois masim with our toivim, which are done, as we said, yitin li boi la kodesh baruchu. So it's delayed with the pui e tzadar together, meaning that it should be mitzvah shadon b'chol libam, b'chol nafsham, which is to avoid us Hashem b'simcha, ivzus Hashem b'simcha, and that's what Sukkot is teaching us, and that's what the Rambam in the in end of Hilchas Lulav puts all the inyanim of Avodas Hashem b'Simcha because this is the time to be koine a kinyan in Avodas Hashem b'Simcha, like it also says in the Pelayoyets in other svar Makdashim, they talk about it. So so many beautiful Ramazim are in this Nekuda. I want to add over here that the same idea of remaining like with the Kodesh Baruch Hu the whole year we have also mentioned in the Sefer Kad Hakemach from Rabbeinu Bechaye in in Erech Lamed, Ois Lamed, in the middle, towards the end, he says, He says the biggest side, Arba Minim Eilu, these four Minim, Shabema Nefesh at Tzaymachas, that in them there is the Tzaymeach, right? It has a Nefesh, that soul of the Tzaymeach. Him Rananim Kol Ashana. They remain very, very moist the whole year, even I think, even when they are cut up, cut off. They're not connected still to the. They're not connected to their source of chayus, but they still have that chayus that they had. Miskayim belachusam yoiser mishara peiris. They are miskayim in their moisture more than other peiris. It could be also we're talking about the ones that are connected, but it's even more lach. You have to think about this. It's not very clear in the Karakemach what he's talking about, but he is talking about the fact that they remain lach. And their being moist is their life. Because the moisture in the fruit is like the blood in the live body, in the body of the chai, which is damu anefesh. This is halachus to anefesh. And he says, So that we take these four, the yoisam hodar, that we should have, our chius should be hodar, should be beautiful, should be spiritual, chayas. And we should make a simon and a, and a sign for the way of life. And it's trying to say we take the way of life in our hands. We're taking ourselves to the way of life 
and we are taking the way of life in our hands. The fish of Torah say, "Nu nikres oira chayim." Our Torah is called the way of life. Who bought nimsa chayim v'atoyis? And the Torah warns us and tells us, "Who b'charto b'chayim?" Choose me, choose life. And Ramanachnu atzveikim ba nikroim chayim. And those we who are cleaving to Torah are called la alive. So Rabbi Isai, and then he adds a very beautiful piece, and he says that's why they have to be wet, moist. The shumayfin should not be dry, because if they're dry, it's not only a chisarn and hadar. The iloy amina meheli yaveishim, then what's going to come out? They would not have an ois v'simen ledarke hachaim to the way of life. And that's who Yushalmi, it says, that all these minim of the Yobish Apostle, Mishum Shenemar, Loi Hamesim, Yahalaluka, the dead cannot praise God. And Loi Hamesim is talking about, if it's Yobish, it's called a mace, so we have to be connected to the Dark Echayim. If we have the Echayis that is Hodor, that's beautiful, and Iker is Rananim Kol Hashana. So this is the same Yisoyt that we saw in the Zerah Shimshen, just you see in a Fir the Kesefer, of the Rabbin Bachet in Kad HaKemach. So Rabbi Yisai, now we're holding after Sukkot, and we're talking about one of the Nekudah, which is Nageya 2, Shemina Tzeresim Chas the Kerch of what Torah brings Bracha, which we'll see as we lay in the Pasuk, Bezois HaBracha, Asher Berach Moishe Yisha Lekim. So when we begin that Parsha, we're talking about Moishe Rabbeinu giving Bracha to Klau Yisrael. And what, ha- what happens right after that? The Pasuk immediately talks about Hashem is Sinai Bo, the Zorach Miseyer Lamai, talking about the Sinai Satayr to Klau Yisro, when all the Uma Yisakurish Bok offered it to them, and they didn't want to accept. And it's something very interesting that we mention all this, and then Moshe Rabbeinu goes on and blesses Klau Yisro. So Rashi already brings the Kasha, which is from the Sifri. What is the connection of the two Psukim? So Rashi brings Gevaldik. Brings the, the two in Yonim are very good. Pasach, it brings up in the Sifri. Pasach, Tchilo, B'Shevachai, Shel Mokon. First, Moshe Rabbeinu started the Shevach of, talking about the Shevach of the Rabbi Nisraelim. What's the Shevach of the Rabbi Nisraelim? That, that he has such an anava, such a humbleness. He's so, he has such a humility that he brings the Torah down to this world is, and brings, and comes down to, to be Shoichen over here in this world through the Torah. And not only that, he's willing to go to all the nations of the world and get a no from them. They say, keep it for yourself. And it's such a busyness. And it's all that no of your brain is telling because mokim dulasi shaman vasanusi, that is godless. And it's my redic. That's shvacha shamokim. That's what the sister Chaman brings the shame. The truma sadeshin who says in Rashi like that. And Achakach, Posach, Betzorcheim, Shal Yisrael. Afterwards, he opened and talked about the Tzorchim of Klau Yisrael. And then he mentions, says Rashi, Uba Shevach, She Posach, Boy, Yesh Be Askar, Schus, Yisrael. It wasn't just a Shevach, Shemokim, in order to open up, like by davening, you first say Shevach of Hashem, and then you ask for the what you need, Tzorch, Tzorch of Shal Yisrael. But in the Shevach that he opened, with it, Yesh Be Askar, Schus, Yisrael. Because mentioning the Klau Yisrael accepted the Torah, is mentioning a tremendous schus, that the schus them, the bizoichet to get the bracha. Like the Medrash says, as the Medrash says over there, Amor the Kaloshin, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu said that if you are going to accept the Torah, you are roi for bracha. And there is a beautiful piece of the first Palaturim says this in the beginning of the Parsha. He says this, these words, the zois ha bracha begimatria zuya Torah. He bischus a tayra bercham. Bischus the tayra. He gave them the bracha. And there's the medrash. The medrash says, "Kivet je omad Moshe." When Moshe got up, pasach be zois. He started with the word zois. Shenem be zois a bracha. Omar lohem. He says to Klal Yisrael, "Oimer lochem. I'm going to tell you. A bracha is alolu a mosei megias lochem. When are you going to get these brachas? The shoshet the kablos a tayra. The tayra it says the word be zois a tayra. The more you dekizach." The schus of accepting the Torah, when no one else is willing to accept the Torah, and will to be nice and nefesh for Torah, even though it's so hard. As the Washington says later on, they too cooler agnulecha. Look at our Chaim Hakadosh that they are willing to be hit and smitten and killed the agnulecha because in order to get the Torah to 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 be just with the Rabbi Nishla and the agnulecha next by your feet, so Klal Yisrael are willing to go through all this. And the Klai Yisrael, Moshe Nefesh, and they 
no matter what, our Isaac and Torah, and the Mekayim, the midst of the Torah, it's the Koyach of bringing all the brachas, it's the of bringing all the brachas. It's Gevaldi, Gevaldi, Gevaldi. Now we come to the words of Zerah Shimshon, a music piece. He says like this, there's another piece of Balaturim. In the old Chumash of the first Sifzah that was printed a long, long time ago, in the year Tav Samach, there it was written like this. First you had the Balaturim of Pasuk Aleph, and then there would be two dots, and then it says this following words, which sounds like it's going on Pasuk Beis, and that's what the Zerah Shimshon is going on. And he says, the next Pasuk, Pasuk Beis, Vayoyim HaShem Yishin begins with a Vav, like we said, and then it ends with me like Eish Dos Lamoy with a Vav. It ends with a Vav. Being to be Miramis, that he was Mavarach Yud Beis Shvatim. Now what is he trying to say anyways about us to him? Of course he mentioned Yud Beis Shvatim. What else? Do you, don't you see he's giving brachas here to the Shvatim? Yes. But he's coming to say that he mentioned Yud Beis Shvatim and not just Yud Alas. Because you would like to see over there that, sh- that Shimon is omit this from the bracha. But if you look at Rashi, Shema Hashem, Kol Yehuda, Pasuk Zion, you'll see that Rashi says that in the word Shema Yisrael, Kol Yehuda, he actually, Shema Hashem, Kol Yehuda, so he actually was mazlia, he, swal- he swallowed in a bracha, he, he was able to put a bracha for Shimon in the words Shema Hashem. And then it comes out that Beirach, Kol Yud Bei Shvatim, Givaldik. But the question over there says, is there a Shimshin? Why is the Merumis, why did the Balaturim put on the second Pasuk, which starts with the Vav and ends with the Vav, and talks about Matan Torah, whereas he could have put it on the first Pasuk, which also begins with the Vav and ends with the Vav, and his mom is talking about the Bracha that he gave to Bnei Yisrael, meaning Yud Beishvatim and not Yud Aleph. So why does he put it in the second Pasuk? And according to this old Chumash, that's what it looks like, the Balaturim Dabke put it in the second Pasuk. says, is there a Shimshin? Give Baldik. And especially with the same Baal Turim we just mentioned before. Ki b'schuz ka tayra b'ircham. B'schuz to the Kvalizu Mekabal the tayra. From there they get all the brachas. So therefore, he put the Yud Beis Shvatim bracha on the Remez, on the second Pasuk, on the second Vav and Vav. Because telling us that the 12 Shvatim got all the brachas. Mi koyach, that mi sinai ba, the zarach mi seyo lamoi, and, and the whole Indian. Everything comes mi koyach at tayra. So Rabbi say we be zoiche, that we should take with us the Yisalus of the Yom Neroyim, the tremendous elevation, Fragansi Yord, the Dorbi Lonoi, connected to Eitzachayim of the Rabbi Yisraelim, Fragansi Levin, and remain moist, remain Atem Advekim Hashem Elkechem Chaim Kuchem Ayoyim, the Dabuk to Taira, and between the Taira and Kiyama Mitzvahs, no matter what the Shainas we go through, we always will be able to connect ourselves and remain connected to the Holy Shechina of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and Double to Makor Achaim, and then we'll be Zoyche that we should be, should be called Mamish. The world will all be full with blessing and light. As we mentioned, Sukkot is all the Indian. Ramis lost it lovely. We ask for Sukkot Irish Shaliv Yasan, and we talk about Harash Mani Yokim Lanu, as Sukkot David Hanay Fales, the Bizoyche, and we talk about in the Aftayr about Goygu Magoy, and the Yanim of Lost Lavoy, so we should be Zoyche. To the Or Mashiach Tzidkenu and Arachamon, the Yakim Lanu, Asukas David, Hanefales, we all be Zoyche, to the great light of Lossid Lavoy, Mashiach Tzidkenu, Bim Heira, Bi Amenu, Amen, Kain, Yehi, Ratzain, Good Yamtes to everyone. Have a great, happy Yamtes.